with the end of high school of the dead as our patreon exclusive series we are now starting code gs because that's what y'all voted for and as usual patreon exclusive means it only exists on patreon and i will upload episode one as a little teaser demo preview on the youtube site but that doesn't mean that the rest of it can't go on youtube all you have to do is win on the youtube community polls and if it wins Code Geass can show up. And if it's never gonna win and you're impatient and you're broke, come to Twitch. Twitch.kaka.tv, where we watch it all. I give it to you all for free. The only trick is y'all gotta be live when I'm live, but it is what it is. I know that this is like a legendary show, right? Is it fair to compare Code Geass on the on the leagues, on, on like the tier of let's say full metal alchemist brotherhood? Right? These huge old titles that many anime fans have you know experienced and here i am never watched code gs you know why because me i thought that if an anime doesn't have more than 500 episodes if it's not like naruto one piece bleach i'm wasting my fucking time why would i bother watching a fucking 12 episode season when i could be committing myself to these shonen shows and said that was truly my mindset that's a lit I grew up watching the big three, nothing else. And I thought, rom-com, slice of life, all this bullshit, 12 episode seasons? What the fuck am I gonna do? I'm watching 12 episodes a fucking day. That was my mindset. So I missed out on a lot of these legendary classics. But here we are, Code Geass, 2024, almost June. Let's begin today's reaction. Code Geass, Lee Louch of the Rebellion. The same cicada sounds. Summer Cicada sound bit anime. There's a green haired girl staring at two young boys. This is creepy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, chill! So, Britannia is North America in the map, right? And North America in the future in anime has become the Britannia Empire. And they are now attacking Japan as they're colonizing every piece of the world. Okay, okay. Japan's underground resources? What do we got? Gundams? Nightmare Frame. What the fuck? You would think that like Japan who has a bunch of Gundam would be the, you know, the nation to use their Gundam mobile suits to fight against the Britannia Empire. But in this world, the Britannia Empire has these nightmare frames, the Gundams, and the Gundams are attacking Japan. What the fuck? This is betrayal. Did I understand that correctly? Oh, we've been colonized, bro. We got fucking colonized. We're no longer Japan. We're Area 11. The number became the new name of the defeated nation as is, this is the 11th nation that they took over. Who's narrating? Suzaku. Oh shit, this kid's fucking more upset than Yaren Jaeger in the first episode, bro. Alright, so we got our main man, probably Lee Louch, right? We have Suzaku. I'm not sure if they're just best friends or brothers. And he's gonna use his motivation to take over the Empire. How is a kid like this with no resources? Going to take over a fucking world dominion empire. Stage one, the day a new demon was born. ATB stands for. CGI trains. It's a cul de sac. This guy looks like a Britannian. Is that Lilo and his friends? So how should we say his name? Yes, the English way of saying this name. It would be Li Lauch. But he's saying Lelouch. Lelouch. Do I just say Lelouch? Lelouch. Not Lee Louch. Lee Louch? <laughs> Lee Louch Ramper Rouge. Hell yeah, brother. We watching our favorite anime, Koji Ass. 
Lilouch, not Lilouch, Lamparouge, brother. Ludouche. 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 Lamparouge. Damn, ah. Rival. Next lesson, you need to be ready. One hour later, you have to pay for your own safe drive. Huh? Nine minutes to beat this guy? What did he say about what? Yesterday's matter. I don't need that many moves. Is that an actual chess tactic? Lulu? Yo, all these characters, their designs, their legs are so fucking thin and the knees are so pointy. Oh my god. Knees too pointy would not fuck three out of ten. That's an actual fucking meme, bro. You know, some people say elbow too pointy, knees too pointy. <laughs> Tamaki Naoto Damn, not even 9 minutes 11s So 11s are terrorists Declared by Britannia But they're mostly uh, Japanese people who are tired and wants to revolt. So these are like the local militia groups that wants to revolt against Britannia, the Empire, the Elevens. And this girl in the beginning, they must be the Elevens. Look at them, right? So they were doing some kind of terrorist attack there. And then this is a news report. That's what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Elevens? Because there's 11 of them? Oh, Ikemen. Ikemen. Nipponjin! <laughs> the crocodile tears. Shokun! My heart is in tears ripping apart just like the people that die from the terrorist attack. I feel for you peasants, the poor. I cannot let you suffer. We therefore declare war on the 11th. What is he going to say? Alright, right. They are justice because they won. Happiness of all my ass. This is the happiness of everyone except the Nipponjin. So, eight Britannians died, but didn't a shitload of other people also die that weighed more than eight? Why are you not talking about the other casualties? <laughs> I spit at the moment of silence. Damn. Yo, we got a big brain thinker here. He's super edgy too. He's like, nah, I ain't gonna join him. And then what does he say about the dead? He's right. Crying for them won't bring them back to life. He's super pragmatic. Already so used to the cruel nature of this world because that's what he witnessed as a child growing up. And he's been having this like revenge plot from the beginning. I thought you're gonna do it. The back. Mm, mm, mm. The back design. Yo, all these characters have such long limbs. Holy shit, the legs, the arms are so long for everybody. The media people playing it off the PR. So are these people also Britannian? I'm not really sure what determines a Britannian in like a Nipponjin, right? So like, I don't know. They could be like, you know how like, I bet there are some Japanese people that also sold their own people out just to get more favor from the Britannia, right? That's kind of stuff works in these kind of places. <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? Yo, who is this guy? Oh my god! Lock the fucking look at that chin! Look at that jawline! He kind of shit on them too. Is he Japanese? Is he Britannian? <laughs> the voice acting. <laughs> Bald? Bald? <laughs> Bald? <laughs> 
Uh oh, they're starting to gun themselves. These are the nightmare operators. Damn. He wants to run this world, I think. Elevens. Elevens. Sorry, Japanese. Cause uh, did we just fuck their entire plan up? Like, did we just sabotage the Eleven's plan right now <laughs> by just like being tailgated, right? What are you doing? What, what, what is the idea there? No. Whatever that thing is. There's some like greenish particles. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right, bro's going in. <laughs> the first thing you should do when someone crashes is call them a fucking idiot. But she's just like on her phone, just fucking recording the video. Can somebody someone? police or something if only someone had a phone you know i'm too busy recording a video so lurush saying these fucking idiots right so the masses here they're just all twisted huh are they britannian are they japanese are they japanese people that's been cucked under the rule of the britannia empire to the point where they just turned like this what's going on <laughs> meaningless pride <laughs> my what that green thing? That green thing? Voice of a girl? In the intro scene? There was a green woman staring at the little boys? Hold up, is there a connection here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, 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 you, you can't just say, surrender now, retreat, like, put yourself in the fucking court, I promise you can still, you know, survive in peace and start shooting immediately, well, wait, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> surrender at once, <laughs> Oh, who is this girl? Can she fight the nightmares? They got a nuke? Karen. Oh, we have our own nightmares! Okay, I was getting a little upset that the Japanese themselves did not have Gundam mobile suits. It's like, come on, what the fuck is Britannia doing that shit, bro? Why don't we have it? We are the nation of Gundam, alright. We have, like, nightmares too, yeah? Cottons? <laughs> She is not a soft girl, huh? 1v1. So Grasgro is what the model we have, and the Sutherlands are the evolved like Nightmares 2.0. So we're already kind of out specced. I do love them evil hot girls, man. Mm, mm, mm. Multi from Shield Hero, I hate that bitch, but goddamn, she's just. <laughs> we just shot her arm out. Yo, Rurush, do your main character thing. What kind of powers does he have? Oh, he's trying to sell them out, I see. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? The general and who's this guy? Oh! And that green thing, which was the girl that was talking, which probably is the intro girl looking at the two boys, is the something that the prince, Clovis, and he was working on secretly. Now it's been leaked into the public. They're not really worried about the 11s, but more so what we had on board that got leaked, right? Okay. 
取り戻すのは簡単だけど仲間もまとめて掃除をしたい Two birds, one stone She's that smart, yeah? 掃除を手伝いたいんですよ手伝いええ、データが欲しいんです化学兵器、つまりは毒ガスだ Wait, 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 wait. We're sitting beside a poison gas right now. Wait, 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 what, what, what? What did they, they stole? I thought it's the waifu. I thought it's the waifu. I thought it was the green thing, dude. Okay, we got poison gas nuke thing. No, this little terrorist child's gonna die. Wait, wait, what? You were originally 11s? Ah, ah! It's a bunch of it's a bunch of uh, Uncle Ruckuses. It's a it's a bunch of a. Uh, so basically, whenever there's an oppressor and an oppressed group, the oppressed group will somehow sometimes betray their own kind for the favor of the oppressors, and they get special treatments. Right? Instead of being on the cotton field, sometimes they're allowed to be in the house. It's you've seen change like Django Unchained, right? Straight up, that's an Uncle Ruckus type, bro. Traitors, exactly. Sold their own kind out for a bet, so so that they can have like a better life, dude. Okay, honorary Britannian. But even honorary Britannians are probably like fucking like second, like third rate citizens, right? They're not gonna be treated the same. Now, you know what would be cool? You know what would be cool if the honorary Britannians were actually all secret undercover agents, biding their time. Gathering information, rallying the troops, right? And then, like, boom, we got you because that was our plan the entire time. But I think these people sold their own kind out. Yes, they mentioned monkeys. We're monkeys. I don't think this guy's gonna make it at this rate. This is the worst driver ever, dude. Uh oh, uh oh, the poison bomb. We're still hiding. Can Lurus fight? He thinks that he's in the good job. I mean, yeah, using poison gas to kill people, like the casualties is probably bad. So he probably thinks that he's in the side of justice right now. But this also, we're not, we're not, we, got co we got roped into this. Yeah, we didn't make this shit. Who made the poison gas? What? Whoa! I don't know what the relationship is, but that's a kid from the beginning. Tell the friend. That's your best friend. You sold us out? Oh, he masked him up. Poison gas my ass. It's a fucking lie, bro. It's a fucking waifu, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. No nipples today, right? Nipples on episode 3, 15, and 19, I think. So no nipples, right? She's gonna spawn naked, though. Careful. God damn. Not naked. Not naked. Okay, Karen got away. Nagata's probably gonna die at this rate. He's bleeding out. This is the girl that way. Wait, wait, why is she zipping? Uh oh. Damn, monkey. Yeah, you got me. I'm a monkey. See, they even call the honorary Britannians monkeys, bro. Like, they don't see them as real people. They're also subhuman, like second like citizens, right? Kill yourself. Never mind. Yeah! Friendship! Oh! Is he actually dead? That was so sudden. What the fuck? He just shot him in the back. Yes. Yo. yes, my lord. Banzai! Holy shit! Oh, 
Why is she so important? No, not the Shinjuku Ghetto! That's our home! Bald! They're actually killing everybody! Like, this was a place where they basically like put all the Japanese people, right? And they're just calling all of them. Actual trash, every single one of them. Who's gonna save us, bro? The green girl? Divisor. What is that? Divisor. Key. No. No crying kids allowed. Oh! You idiot! Oh! On silent, we fucked up. We fucked up. Bitch, we about to die because of you. You oh, dude. Oh, gee. oh. <laughs> Shit, Does Lulu not have crazy powers? Lulu, you're the main character. Where's her powers? Oh, the powers act. Oh, you can speak. There was a mark there. That's blood. She's dead, too. Oh, that's their narrative. That's the script they're going off of. Not only the girl in a wheelchair as well. Uh, lost sibling. What the fuck is this girl? Okay, wheelchair girl is important for later. None of Lee. There it is. There it is, yep. You know, the main character's gotta have a power, right? Like, you can't just have him just be a normie, bro. All right, it's a mysterious girl project from the fucking Britannia Empire she arrived. She got shot in the head. She was looking at us when we were kids, though, I'm pretty sure. And now, what kind of powers are we gonna get? get? What is it? <laughs> Give me power! Oh, Booba! Okay, it's a trade. What's your wish? There was something very interesting here when we were talking about the uh, significance of the power and how he's gonna change, right? There's this mark on their heads. What is this? Is the mark. The code Gias? Is that it? Code Gias? Mark, mark, head, forehead, what is this? Looks like some kind of religious cult right here, right? A Lagnora connection. Alright, now we have powers. Gets power one, starts fucking posing like he's in a magazine suit. <laughs> Behold, the cold gear said, What is he gonna do? Don't tell me he's got an eye power. Don't tell me he has a chuny eye power, bro. He's hiding it. He's hiding the eye. Oh god. This is Megumin from Konosuba's favorite anime. I mark the mark. Luru should be Britannia. That's your last name? Be Brit Britannia? We we're secretly Britannian? I don't understand. Orders you? V Britannia? Okay. What does this do? It actually makes them. <laughs> Not yes, my lord. Yes, my highness. So his powers, his eye powers, and it, it wasn't a single person. It was not a single person. It was like AOE. 
you can order somebody and they will just do it. I don't know the limitation of this power. It probably doesn't work on people that's like, quote unquote, stronger than you, right? But we have this almighty power, do something, they do it. Why V Britannia though? Are we Britannian? What? And, and, he, and, and Lerush, you know, posed a very interesting question right here. What would a Britannian do, a Britannian that hates Britannians do, right? What did he say here? Very interesting line here. The Chini yeah. post. How should a Britannian who hates Britannia live? Now, because we live in, you know, Japan was Area 11, does that count as a Britannian? Because it sounds like he's saying he is actually Britannian, right? The fuck? But then why is he living as a student under... I don't know. He's this line though. A Britannian who hates Britannia. Or he just role-playing as a Britannian? In order to work from within? What is going on? I'm confused? Yes, your highness. This power is insane. No wonder the people wanted it back. His name isn't Japanese, you're right. Su Suzaku is a, my name to a lie. My personal history a lie. It's almost... He's creating a fake identity? Because like... What was her name? The green haired girl? I don't even know if she said her name. She says like you're gonna live a different life, a different identity or something, right? So like, it almost sounds like we are becoming Britannian for the sake of the plan. Am I following the plot correctly? I don't know. Okay. You desire the power and the gr green girl dead though. Wait, 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 wait. How are you gonna go from... Oh, I killed them all. Oh my god. Oh my god. And into... <laughs> He went for, I killed them all. What have I done? Ha! <laughs> Time for fucking genocide. Reverse genocide, baby. And I think that's the episode. Damn. That's Code Geass. Episode 1. What'd y'all think? I was fucking peak. It was like, immediately set up, you know, telling us what's going on. Britannian Empire is basically colonizing the world, and we are Area 11, the 11th nation to be dominated. And now it's been seven years after the war and we're living as like third-rate citizens and we're living in the ghettos well not Lerush, i guess but some of the other people and the britannians are absolute fucking dog shit trash right they're evil evil fucking scum and the political structure is very interesting too right there's like different princes and then there's like these like nobles and then there's like probably honorary britannians and i don't know and there's also the 11s who are the area 11 the 11s because it's area 11 you are called 11s i see not japanese they've literally stripped the nationality and we reduced you into a number as a conquered nation therefore we're calling you an 11s that's what it is and they are pretty much label terrorists but more like freedom fighters who are willing to do whatever it takes to reclaim you know japan but good fucking luck with you know the tech that they have. We have Gundam suits too, but it's an outdated model compared to them. We can't compete, but, you know, he is the main character and he's gotta, got, got, he's gotta get some kind of special powers. It's also sad that our childhood friend fucking died, same with the green girl immediately. But we have the power of what? Code Geass? There's like a mark on her forehead that's been into our eye. I don't really know what her wish was. It was very vague, but it was a trade of like, if you want this power, you need to offer me this wish. And what is the wish? Is it also to overthrow the Britannia Empire? I'm not sure. It's also funny when he's doing the whole Chuni, you know, hiding the eye pose. But so far, everything has been so fucking good. The only complaint, which is not even a complaint, just a funny thing that I noticed, was how long everyone's limbs are. The lanky arm and legs it's pretty funny but also this is a very old anime the designs are totally different so you know what it feels unique even though it's like a very old anime also yeah nonella or something right this girl in the wheelchair is also important why is lirush named lirush v britannia is he actually britannian his name's not japanese is he assuming a fake identity or was everything about him so far fake and lirush britannia is the actual real person I don't fucking know, but this is a mindfuck of an episode. But the premises, the combat, the character designs, voice acting, soundtrack, overall pacing, 
opening ending. Pretty peak. I'm glad you guys picked this. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists with more content. And until next time, take care.